Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the cryptocurrencies. So in general, Bitcoin is following the same trend as we see on the cold market, on the currencies, some weakness on the United States dollar and you can see that market is climbing higher. But at the same time, um, here I need to remind you a couple of points that we actually keep in our trading plan. First of all, uh, we're not considering taking the long position on the Bitcoin. Even on the last week when we've got this reverse head and shoulders on the intraday charts and hourly chart and the general upward performance was relatively strong. Well, it is possible if you're a scalp trader, you trade on the five minute chart, for example, or on 15 minute chart, and you could try to take this uh, trade with this performance of the hand shores and upper action. But uh, since we're mostly watching on a daily chart, we treat this upper action not actually not reliable. And for us, it's more valuable to get higher price, higher levels for taking the short position, <clears throat> rather than considering some short term uh, bullish positions with the really big risk that's actually accompanied to this trade. And currently, as you can see, yes, market is coming higher. And in general, if you have read or maybe watch videos uh, that I have prepared in the weekend concerning uh, the gold market, the forex market, the euro currency in particular, in all markets, we expect that probably some slightly higher action should happen before potentially potential reversal could start. So we actually, we do not know whether this will start or not, but the technical background especially on the euro currency, suggests that probability stands in favor of the downside deep retracement right around the current levels. So it could climb slightly higher, as I said, but in general, uh, such combinations as weekly confidence resistance with the weekly overbought, including the major monthly fib resistance, uh, some targets stands rounding, it's really strong background. And at least from the probability point of view, it's not a good idea trying to struggle it. Which means that if we are correct, now a suggestion that this gold market could start major retracement, as euro currency start major retracement, it means that the current upper reduction on the Bitcoin is also stands near the final point. It could climb also slightly higher, but hardly it will be some breakout of the 20 even area moving above this level. We are talking just about the maybe a few hundreds uh, dollars. Bitcoin in this area. So it mostly uh, could help those people who keep uh, currently have long positions and, and keep them just to estimate the target. For others, I wouldn't consider taking the well long position by far here as well. And uh, I think that the bears starts, uh, need to be uh, careful right now and watch for possible reversal. So Bitcoin, we could get downside reversal relatively soon. So on the on the daily charts, you can see nothing really has changed significantly. Yes, market showing some up prediction, but it's very slow, gradual, and uh, well, it's definitely some kind of the retracement. Near the 1780 area, 1770, you could see that we also have natural lows, no natural support resistance line. So previously it was support, now it will be resistance. That's why somewhere around 1770, 80, it might be, well, maybe might be the final destination. On the four hour time frame chart, that's our major chart to watch for. Last time, actually, when the brand banner has started, we said that it should be OP. It has been completed last week. We talked about in the 40, on, on Thursday. After that, market has formed nicely looking triangle, which now is broken up. This guy is the bullish combination. And from that standpoint, market has to keep going higher to the next destination point, which is XOP around 18, 15 area. But in the between of these targets, we have strong resistance level of the 1760, 1770, approximately 1775. And that will be really big challenge for Bitcoin to pass it. 
But a few reasons. First of all, it's strong resistance on a high time frame. And the second, if you'll take a look at the performance here on the hourly chart, it also might be the butterfly. And this butterfly precisely has the destination point around 1763, 1764, right around this resistance level. So uh, the conclusion is as follows. Bearers currently should do nothing but keep an eye on what will happen with this performance. The appearing of the bearish pattern, for example, if this butterfly turns to the hand and shoulders, that would be the signal to take the short position. This, actually, here we have very similar situation to the euro currency, where also the butterfly is forming, and we said, keep an eye, maybe it's turned to the uh, head and shorts, or maybe on the gold market. So I, I just remember that yesterday I were considering uh, the same pattern on the hourly chart. So for the bulls, if you have the position, you could hold it, but Definitely, you have to move stops to the break even or even to some point to guarantee to get some profit. Uh, and keep watching of this most recent rally. This is a vital swing currently for the Bitcoin. Why? Because market already has has uh, started the bullish way to the XOP. Retracement after OP is done with this triangle consolidation. And this triangle already has been broken up. It means that this one, it should be, it should be the continuation of this one. And if market will fail to do that, we turn right back down, breaking the confidence 17, 17, 42, or better to say 16, 98, 17, 40. This confidence support here, it will be breaking down, starting erasing this rust. It will be signs of weakness. It means that market has failed to proceed higher and we should be ready for collapse. So that's to watch for. It means that if you still would like to take the long position, you need to consider only these two levels, 1715 and this confluence. Maybe with this initial stop placement, either below the confluence or below the C points of this potential butterfly. So the bullish market has to stay above these levels. And you will be correct if market will be able to hold above them and reestablish our protection. If market somehow will break it down, it means that this our protection has failed market has no power to proceed higher so you do not need current to hide stops too far somewhere below these lows or even lower in the current circumstances it, not, uh, it is not suitable so just focus on these levels if you would like to but overall situation tends to be tricky around this bullish uh, trading and personally I do not want to do this so um, but markets currently as you can see very often bring some surprises and maybe Bitcoin could proceed high and even to, and even could complete the XOP target. So uh, if you are stand, stand aiming on the upper direction here, well, that's the setup that you could consider. At least currently, you can see the risk is not really big. So let's see uh, how situation will turn here.